One of the questions we get all the time on the floor is how are ACE inhibitors renal protective in diabetic patients, but at the same time, they can also cause renal failure. So in this scenario, I'm going to show you how they are renal protective in diabetic patients. So we'll start off with a picture of the glomerulus, and you have the afferent and you have the efferent arterial. Angiotensin II works here at the efferent arterial. Now in this situation, you you're starting with a diabetic patient. And in diabetic patients, you're starting with a very high flow, high pressure state in the kidney. So you can remember this as glucose rushing into the glomerulus causing this high pressure. It's not exactly what's happening, but if it helps you remember that you're starting with a high pressure state. This high pressure state in the kidney causes alterations in the basement membrane of your kidney and thus causes proteinuria. Now, as you know, there should be no protein in, in your urine, okay? So when you give an ACE inhibitor, you are blocking angiotensin II, causing a vasodilation of the efferent arterial, and then reducing the pressure in the kidney and getting rid of the proteinuria. So this is how ACE inhibitors can be renal protective. You're starting with a high pressure state in the kidney, and by giving an ACE inhibitor, you are reducing that pressure and alleviating the proteinuria.